It's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2023 F-150 Tremor. It's Oxford White, and you're seeing these orange, I call it burnished orange um, highlights on there with the badging for Tremor. And you're seeing it on this, you'll see it on the seats as well. And this has a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It's an EcoBoost paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission and it's a four x four. You're also seeing the powder coated running board, body color door handle, keyless entry keypad. You also have navigation and this is a five and a half foot box. It also has a trailer tow package and many more features. If you'd like to take it out on a test drive, you can book it online at islandford.ca. And this little beauty has leather trim seats, seating for five. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. It's a 3.5 liter V6 Eagle Boost engine paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission, and it's a four by four. Let's have a look inside in the door and you're seeing the Beano badging for your audio system. You have power locks, windows and mirrors and memory for three drivers. Both driver and passenger seat are powered with lumbar and you've got these nice leather trim seats with a trimmer badging and it's kind of a, I call it a burnished orange color and you'll see it more on the front and the sides of the vehicle. And then you have your electronic parking brake, power pedals, high mount lighting, lighting controls, LED side view mirror spotlights, power tailgate release and this both opens and closes the vehicle and that in the for the tailgate power tilt and telescoping steering wheel and running board as well as grab handle and that just makes it easier to get in and then on the face of the steering wheel we have our lane keeping and cruise control volume menu and hands-free dialing and this is a push start so my foot's on the brake keys in the pocket we're going to push the engine start stop button on the dash any important messages and you've also got the notification I forgot to close the back door completely so let's get out of there and then we have the menu so fuel economy trip one trip two eco behavior and then your trip fuel auto start stop and driver assistance and these all have sub menus You've got your b and badging up top and a little bin and auto stop start for less idle time now I'm not in gear but I'm gonna press the camera and this is gonna give me a view of what's ahead of me and so even before I go anywhere, I can see what's going on. We have our parking sensors, hazard lights, traction control, hill descent. On our screen here, you're seeing the sidebar and you also have your big screen. So we can go into our sources, AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, as well as Bluetooth. You can go into navigation, choose your destination. And in our settings, we have different options in there. They all have sub menus. So we can general, we can do the measurements and the language, this display, we can actually dim that out if we want. We have software updates and just slide through for what you want. In your features, you're gonna have your owner's manual, trail turn assist. Now trail turn assist allows you to do really tight turns or a donut, so it locks the rear driver wheel and gives uh, traction to and torque to the rear passenger side wheel to give you that pivoting point to allow you to turn quickly and um, almost like a right hand turn or a left hand turn if you needed to, like almost at a right angle. So if you're in a tight spot and you have to turn, now you're gonna do this on loose surfaces, not on cement, okay? Towing, zone lighting, driver assistance. And then when we put the vehicle in reverse, this is where we're gonna see our backup camera view. So here we are in space and this is right off the back bumper. There's your center line, green, yellow, red is just how close you are to other objects or vehicles. And this is just a protective cover that's located there. Gonna put us back into park, volume and tuner. And you've got dual climate control as well as dual heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, front and rear defrost, AC and max AC. And we have down below a USB-C, USB, plus a wireless charging pad. You can close this up if you want. Pro trailer backup, integrated trailer brake controller, and you got your four x four locking differential. You press this, it is going to appear on the left hand side, side where your gears are located. Press it again, it'll go out. And then you've got drive mode. So drive mode allows you to go into different options. You're gonna see the icons change, so that was normal. Let's go back in here. We're gonna go slippery, deep snow sand, mud ruts, rock crawl. And then we're gonna go the other way, past normal. Tow haul, you see they highlight, sorry, I went a little fast there. Eco and sport. There we go, we're into sport. So depending on what the road conditions are, the weather conditions are, you can adapt to that by choosing the different drive mode that you want. 
okay, whether you're towing or whatever you're gonna be doing. And in the center here, we have an automatic select shifter. If we want it to go down, we can just press that. It goes flat, it just gives us more space. A couple of cup holders, we can bring it back up. And we have our armrest, it unclips. You also have a nice little bin in there, take it out. Down below, you got a place to charge things and lots of room. We're gonna close that up. You've got a 12 volt as well as a 120 volt, two glove compartments, lower one's locking, this one releases from here, grab handle in the body, and then you have an auto dimming rear view mirror, your lighting controls, sunglass holder, you also have upfitter switches, a power sliding window in the rear, and you have universal garage door opener, and you're all set to go. Change wheels, mud flaps, and you've got the off-road running board that's powder coated, body colored door handle with intelligent access, meaning when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors, and keyless entry keypad. Driver's side, capless easy fuel gas filler, and the tremor badging. You also have a backup camera just above the handle, an LED light to the right, backup sensors on the bumper, four and seven pin connector, trailer hitch, and a locking spare tire. When you're ready to open up that tailgate, all you have to do is double click your fob. It'll power it down for you. And inside you've got tie downs in all four corners as well as box link. And there's also an outlet located here, an LED light up top. And on the back here, you've got two measuring sticks, metric and imperial, as well you've got a place for clamps. So if you wanna do a little work back here, you can. There's one on the left and one on the right. You also have a tailgate step. So then you just pull that down and that yellow button creates a handle when you pull it out, giving you some stability getting in and out of the box. And then when you're ready, just close it up, lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. Once you have the tailgate step back in place, you can double click your fob again and it'll close it up for you, just making it easier and simpler to get in and away. And speaker in the door, as well as a B&O badging system on your audio system and power windows. Grab handle in the body and seating for three with a 60-40 split. You simply lift the seat with one hand and it's in the upright position, giving you lots more room on the floor. And then pull the tab, it'll bring it right down. And you're seeing on the seats, you've got these nice perforations, the highlights of the burnished orange and the trimmer um, wording on there. And then in the center, you have an armrest with a couple of cup holders. There's also extra carpeted mats, slim pockets on the back of the front seat. And in the center, more cup holders as well. You've got the heated seat controls for back here, as well as the 12 volt, your air vents on each side. And you see the little ambient lighting, that blue lighting, that just makes it easier to see down here. So you've got a USB-C and a USB, as well as a 120 volt. And then grab handle on the body, lights and hooking off to the side. As well in the back, you have a power sliding window with rear defrost. Remember badging on the box. It's a five and a half foot box, mud flaps, privacy glass in the back windows, adjustable side view mirrors with blind spot information system, auto high beams, fog lights, front camera, tow hooks and many more features and if you like this video and would like to see more please subscribe we have plenty to share with you and we love to hear your comments